Oh, man, you got Frankie V from Frankie and Tati hanging. My dude, Mike DeRoll. What's up, player? Yeah, Frankie, what's up, man? All the way from the Bay Area. From the Bay, man. We in SD. Man, it feels good. It's a vibe, man. We came out here. Me and K. Rich was like, yo, every time we come to SD, it's yeah. a vibe. And then, look, better to be at Jamming 95.7, man. Hello, how y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, when you come to San Diego, do you get to enjoy it? Or is this like, because I know it's busy. You're coming down here to see the radio station, say what up. But you get to get some personal time in San Diego. Right. So we were just talking about that. I said, every time I've came out here, yeah. it was just like handling the business and stuff. So I didn't really get to enjoy myself, get to enjoy the San Diego weather and the vibe and shit, but... I can swear all you want to. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see my face, I said... <laughs> <laughs> man, good looking. Yeah, so, we're yeah. going on uncut, man. So, yeah, so you're here. Do you get to experience it this time? You got to shoot back up to L.A.? Uh, so, yeah, we, we're just coming out here to handle business, eat some good food. That's I know uh, K. Rich said there's this, this spot that we got. Uh, he went to last time. He was like, you got to try which, it. Which spot was that, K. Rich? Mexican spot. Mexican spot in San Diego. I mean, we got a man. <laughs> 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 uh, California burrito. California burrito. Yes, yeah, so you got it. You, haven't had, you never had a California burrito? Nah. Bro, they take the carne asada steak. They put the French fries in it. They put the guac, the Ooh. sour cream, the cheese. Right? <laughs> Man, hey, man, we better get sponsored for talking about this on air, you feel me? <laughs> That's a brutal game, man. Let's talk about you real quick. You're single. Hello, RJ and Compton on it. It's gone viral. I mean, you got millions of views coming up on this thing. Yeah, man, it's, it's just a blessing to see that because, um, you know, when you put out a record and yeah. stuff, you just, you're just curious to see how people react to it. And then... Um, uh, a friend of mine, he's a comedian. His name is Anwar mm -hmm. and, uh, and Giovanni. They uh, they did a, a, a skit to it. Okay. Bro, this went wild. It just like they uh, released a video and then like just the millions just was going just nonstop. And then uh, my, my YouTube, my Spotify, uh, SoundCloud, just everything was boosting. And I was like, what is going on? Yeah. And then uh, I watched the video and this thing was hilarious, bro. Like, oh, it's over 120 million views on Facebook. Okay. So it's going. It's, That's what's it's, up. It's, lit. it's a blessing, man. Just in the lit. We on the road, man. Yeah, doing your thing now. Hell yeah. Mike Terrell hanging out now. Like I said, you're, of course, from uh, the Bay Area originally. Who's your who's your influences up there? Uh, oh, man. In the Bay? Yeah. Man, I just, man, shout out Gazi and Empire, man. Man, that's, that's good people. Empire is good people. Great people, man. Just and uh, everybody over there, Hot 1057, you know, came here, you know, they are supporters of uh, uh, the music and stuff. Yeah. So, um, and just shout out the legends, you know, over there, just holding it down. You know, a lot of people open the door for us. You all had E40 at all? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I've actually, like, done, man, see, this is the cool thing about it, man. Like, we've done records together, right? And, um, and it, it wasn't like we was in a booth together, mm -hmm. but they came out hot and never got released. So I feel like if you were to hear this and be like, you know what I mean? It's like it was getting slept on, but now, right. you know, we we woke right now. We grinding, we making moves. So it's, I feel like that collab was still happy. I like but, it. Know, that's the dude up there. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. And I heard some news, and you can tell me this incorrect. Did you get shot one time and you had a bullet lodged in you? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, just dealing with 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 you know being in this industry and yeah. dealing with success. You know, there's there's people that are envious and just haters. That's, that's what it is. And um, you know, when you're out in your city, you making moves, making noise, and people that's that's been trying to do the same exact thing but mm -hmm. ain't getting no love and no recognition for it. They start to hate, you know, like like why is he getting all this love? But you know, I'm not. Mm -hmm. that. So it just you know makes people throw shade, and then yeah, but like but see the bullet was in my heart, and you know we, we blessed to be here. Yeah, you know God gave me a second chance. You know I have a I just had a, a beautiful daughter. A couple Congratulations. Months, a months ago, so it's like you know go through all this stuff, and then you know all the blessings are starting to happen. It's just like. You know, I'm just grateful. Thank yeah, you for everything. Doing it. You know what I mean? And that, that, that segues to my next question, man. We're wrapping up 2017, 2018. You know, less than, less than a month away. Right. What's 2018 in, have in store for Mike DeRoll? What's 2018 See, man, mean to you coming up on us? I, I Honestly, man, I feel like 2018 going to be smooth. Yeah. going to be good because I know everybody like, oh, this is my year, this is my year, you know, that, all that type of mm -hmm. stuff. I don't really like to say that. I just put that work in. Yeah. Every day I grind. You know, I make a move. If I ain't making a move, then like, what am I doing? You know what I mean? So if I feel like if I'm grinding, 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 only positive stuff can happen at it. Right. So that's the way I'm. So 2018 just gonna be a positive year. Uh, uh, let's hope so, man. No, let's let's, let's know no, so. No, right? no let's, let's know, know so. so man. You know what I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> uh, the EP, of course, is out. Free Zone. Snag that new single is going crazy online right now. Hello. Hello. Hello is a single, man. Yeah. Mike Terrell, thank you for swinging through, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, you man. Thank you Great for having success. me. It's Jam 95.7. Frankie V, hanging with my dude, Mike Droll. Now, we are just talking about this off camera real quick. 
message to the kids out there, right? Because you talk to a lot of high schools. Exactly. And it's like that, you know, get down, get back up, get down, but you can still stay up. Right, right. Like what I was trying to uh, say to Frankie V, man, just... Uh, SD, we about to come visit. We're gonna invade a high school. Put it that way. I, I told him we should come visit a high school and just spread a positive message because I didn't get to uh, get to graduate and walk the stage. Right. But it didn't discourage me from succeeding and, and accomplishing my goals. So every time I, I get a chance to talk to some of the younger and, and and you know I try to inspire. Right. And you know I've been through a lot. Been knocked down multiple, several times, but. I just had this mentality where it's like, man, I got to get it. Like, yeah. no matter what what it is, like I told you, like, when I got shot, like, I got hit in the wrist, stomach, bullet was in my heart. I uh, had no feelings uh, in my hand, my wrist, none of that. I had to, had to learn how to breathe, walk, talk again, all that stuff. And, and I did it. You did. And then, and look, we're here. You know, we're, we're here. moving like like healthy, though. You know, how many, how many years ago was it that you got shot? This is like just r- roughly two years ago. And how long were you, were you unable From, to move? Down for like over a year plus. I was in physical therapy for a whole year. Um, it just was just continuing to work. I couldn't couldn't lift like no no more than five pounds. So I was gradually building. So five, ten, fifteen, and then finally like now I can lift my own body weight and stuff. So you talk about this in your music? No, nah, I haven't really. You like, ever thought about that? Because I mean, you know, there's a lot of inspiration that comes out of lyrics and music, and with the fact that you have stories to tell these kids, right? Tell it in your music so, too. This is this is the way I, I kind of have a plan. Like, like yeah. so you know, making the club music and in, in the whips, you know, mm-hmm. other type of music. It's easy, you know, it's right. Easy to make, but I feel like all right. So let's let's put that music out. Let's like bring them. And, and right, have them uh, gravitate to that, and then let's hit them with the real music. Like show them, okay, let's, no let's give them a story now. Let's because you, you know on the radio it's funny. We talk, we have a good time all the time, but it's like when we tell our stories about our lives. You know, when my dad passed away, I'm talking about that, or people on the air talk about our real lives. It's almost mm-hmm. like people they attach, right. and understand us more. So that's why I always say, man, do like, yeah, that's a story. Turn that I into know. a record. That'll, that'll be a hit. No, nah, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm like, Frankie B, brother, check this <laughs> out. <Keep> really, <laughs> real talk. Dude. How do we find you on socials? Uh, you can hit me on uh, hit me on my Instagram. It's Mike Daro D A R O L E. I mean, if you know how to spell parole, just take out the P for the D. <laughs> it was it. Yeah, man, just hit me on Mike DeRoe. And, right. uh, you know, I do message, I, I do comment back, I show love back, you know, because I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for the for the supporters, you know what I mean? That's what's up. Mike DeRoe, so, everybody. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, V. I appreciate you, man. Let's get it.